Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to get the new Ace Disc and Expert Disc saddle inside of Lumion Legacy. Also, in this video, we're gonna be teaching you guys the best methods on how to get this without wasting any of your moves. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and just straight into the video. All right, so in order to get this new Ace Disc saddle, or as I like to call it, more of technically a hoverboard, like inside of Pokemon Brick Bronze, you have to head inside of the arcade. Now, these two prizes, and I say two because there's also an expert disc one can be found by going over here and scrolling down they are the question mark question mark question mark prizes so as you can see i've already unlocked one which is the ace disc saddle a special saddle that allows its owner to ride around on an ace disc and of course the other one is going to be the expert disc Alrighty, so if you get yourself 500,000 points on the Disc Drop minigame, you can unlock yourself the Ace Disc Saddle. If you get 999,999, which is the max score, you can get yourself the Expert Disc. Now, heading over to the Disc Drop minigame, there's going to be a couple things that obviously you want to look out for. The first of which is going to be what I like to call a vertical switch, and the second of which is what I like to call a horizontal switch. So, as you can see right here, if I move this shade disc where this bug disc is, it is going to actually, one, make a combo, which is definitely what we want. But in the example that, you know, these three weren't there, obviously if I move this shade disc over here, it is going to make a three pattern up. So there's going to be three shade discs stacked on top of each other. That is going to be a vertical switch now let's say obviously you know the other ones weren't there and i move this one to the side and obviously it makes a three on the horizontal line right that is going to be a horizontal switch so as you can see right here i am going to get a little bit of a combo giving me 1100 points now in my personal opinion i believe that vertical switches are going to be a little bit better as it is going to help you get a lot more combos now combos are going to be key for this entire thing okay whenever you do a switch right so i'm going to do a horizontal switch right here as you can see it is going to to drop down the next row now to get the max amount of points possible you are gonna have to spend a lot of time okay roughly to get the max 99999 all that stuff it is going to take you around 40 minutes to an hour and that is if you are not that experienced with this entire thing okay and obviously as you see right here you are gonna want to do them at the bottom because it is going to drop down a lot more giving you a lot more possible points for obviously getting combos and now combos are going to be a little bit of a chance, okay? I'm not going to say RNG, but basically whenever you're dropping these things down, what you're going to want to have and what you're going to want to look for is, you know, all of the other discs just falling perfectly into place with everything else. And that keeps happening to where, you know, another row falls down and it matches up with the other row. And then that row keeps falling and then everything just kind of keeps going and going and going. I'm going to show a clip from Lordzilla, obviously, where as you can see, he gets around, I think, 200,000 points just off of one combo alone. Alone. So it basically creates a chain, okay? It creates a chain reaction of just points after points after combos after combos and gets you, again, just a lot of points. Now, the most infuriating part about this entire game is obviously losing your entire score. Now, this can happen when there are no more switches left, okay? So you have an entire board and you cannot move a single thing. The game will basically tell you, hey, you're out of switches, you're out of moves, you can't do anymore, and it'll reset your score, you have to restart it all over again, okay? So, how do you combat this? Well, my tips are basically going to be to always have a switch possible. So let's say obviously I'm doing some stuff over here you know I'm switching this right here I'm switching you know this and this and whatever now as you can see at the bottom left I am always going to keep these three volt discs just able to be switched okay so that way I can continue to do whatever I need to up here without risking the possibility that obviously I run out of moves now let's say you know push comes to shove you're sitting here thoroughly examining the entire board right and you're like well I, I just can't find anything right then yes you should obviously use whatever's down here and whatever you had as your fail safe or you know you're just last resort essentially another good thing to obviously keep on the lookout for are these right here there's going to be a bar blast power up and an ace disc power up now whenever i do the ace disc as you can see it's going to clear an entire row sometimes it could do it vertically sometimes it could do it you know, obviously horizontally or both at the same time now the bar blast actually whenever you use it it is going to cut out a nine by nine grid and just essentially explode everything around it now, three switches are not going to be the only thing that you can do. Obviously, if you have more discs lined up, as you can see right there, I got 300 points. The more, the merrier, okay? The more discs you have lined up, and the more possible things you can just switch around, the better. 
So yeah guys, that's really about it. The only other tip I could probably give you is that if you wait long enough and you're sitting there stuck like, I don't know, you know, where to go. I don't know if there's any combinations. A combination will light up on the board. As you can see, it is white right here. All I have to do, switch it down, and it basically gives me it for free. So yeah guys, that is going to be my tips and tricks for the disc drop mini game inside of the arcade. Again, definitely let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments below, and good luck, okay? It is going to be a very infuriating and stressful process. It took me around four or five tries after getting you know, a bunch of just try agains and all that stuff so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace